Hi everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today I thought I would do something a little different and I want to show you my art sticker collection. If you are like me and you love stickers then this is definitely the video for you. Um, so let's just get started. I keep all of my stickers in here. This is a little pencil case from I'm a Wonder. I just love it and it is perfect to fit all my stickers in. <laughs> So I'm not going to show any of my stickers that I got that are just regular commercial stickers. I'm only going to show you artist stickers that I got. So let's get started. I'm also not going to be showing any prints because I feel like that would just take way too long. So we're just going to do the, um, we're just going to do the stickers. So I keep them in this, I keep my little stickers in this little envelope that I got from <laughs> Visual Mind. Um, I was like one of their very first patrons. And this is the envelope of my very first envelope that I got. I keep everything, I'm a hoarder. But yeah, so let's get all of these stickers. I wanna make sure I get them all. Yep, perfect. And then I'm going to organize by artist, and then I will show each individual one. So I'll be right back. All right, so first up, I figured I would start with my sticker sheets. These are both from Sticker Punk. Um, I found them on Etsy, and I just love their little cats. And they did like a fall theme, and they do like a galaxy type of theme with their kitties. So... This is um, another one that I really enjoy. Obviously, you can tell that I used a lot of their stickers already. Also, I just wanted to say that this is not all of my stickers that I absolutely have. I have a ton on my sketchbooks that I like to... I like to decorate my sketchbooks with stickers. So the stickers that aren't shown in this video are going to be shown in later sketchbooks tours. But I figured I would just show off my stickers right now that I don't have a place for. These are from I'm a Wonder. She did a um, Studio Ghibli sticker sheet, which I absolutely loved. I just have four left. And then this one was a witchy theme. Um, I use all of them except this little guy. So I just, it, they just need to find a proper home and I'm not ready to let them go just yet. All right, so this sticker sheet, this had a whole bunch of birds on it. I'm a huge bird fan, if you haven't noticed from my sleeve that I'm working on right now. Um, I just have a tough tip mouse and a gross beak left. They are so cute. So this is a sticker by Laura Marie. I think her handle is Tattoos by Laura Marie. She actually was um, one of the ink masters um, in a recent season. I'm not sure which season it was, but she's also a local artist in my area. So I got a whole bunch of Pokemon stickers and I love this one because it's all holographic and awesome. So who doesn't love that? A YouTube favorite of mine is Lee Ellickson. If you don't know who Lee is, you have to check her out. Her vlogs are amazing and her art style is incredible. I'm a Patreon of hers. So I got these cute little puppy patron stickers, and then I believe all three of these are in her Patreon shop. And I just love this little devil baby with the little glitter on the side. Like, oh, so cute. And this is the most recent Patreon sticker that we just got, and I absolutely love it. I, mm, chef's kiss, Lee, chef's kiss. Next up, this um, artist that I actually found her at a art festival. And her stickers were all super adorable. She had three different kinds. She had like holographic, um, sparkly, and then just a regular matte. Like these are matte, which I didn't realize at the time when I bought them. So we'll see how they work out. Um, but yeah, this one is my absolute favorite because he's definitely holographic and he just looks so cute. Next up is another YouTube favorite. This is Jess Carp. If you don't know who Jess Carp is, then you need to stop watching this video and go watch Jess's and then come back to this video. She is incredible. She's so inspiring and so incredibly skilled in all her art mediums. Like, 
I wish I was on her level. She's just so good. Um, she she started the 100 eyes. I was it 100 heads first. Yeah, I think it was 100 heads first, and then she moved on to like other 100 series, and she did a 100 eyes series. So there's a sticker for that. I used to also be a Patreon of hers, and these were all of I think my Patreon stickers that I still have of hers. But I have definitely bought others that are non Patreon. This next one is a sticker by P.S. Enjoy Your Life. Um, I love Jen Bourne's theme. She's a local artist in my area and she just creates all of these beautiful, intricate um, themes. Like, look how much detail is in this one little sticker. I love her style and it's just so whimsical and beautiful. I definitely have a lot more of her stickers, but this is the only one that's left and I love it because it has an inspirational quote that says, live your dreams. This is my most recent sticker that I got. It says, adventure today and nap tomorrow. I absolutely love this sticker. Um, I went to a local art festival in my area and I found this little um, stand. I believe it was this person's very first art fair ever and I just fell in love with their theme and aesthetic and I had to buy one of these little stickers. Alright, so this next one, I found like all these sticker packs from this artist at a local craft fair and I absolutely love them. It's just another whimsical theme that I enjoy and it also has to do with animals. So, and these little hybrid snail cat creatures, I have no idea like what they are, but I find them to be incredibly adorable. So I picked up some of those and then I have all these little kitty cat ones. Um, I don't remember this artist's name either, unfortunately, and they didn't give me a business card. So I'm going to try and figure out who this person is before I upload this video. Um, if I'm not able to find them, then you'll know if I don't put it on the screen. But if you guys know who this person is, then feel free to let me know in the comments below because that would be really helpful because I would love to support them and buy more stickers from them. So these stickers are both by Gel Arts. If you don't know who Gel Arts is, they are a artist here on YouTube as well. And they come up with these adorable little animal illustrations and they're usually wearing clothes of some sort. This little guy is wearing a backpack and look at this goose or it's a duck. I have no idea, but it's freaking adorable and I love it. Gel Arts art <laughs> just makes me smile. I love to see what they come up with every time they post a YouTube video. Both of these, I believe, were on their Patreon, so if you enjoy those, check them out as well. So this is another sticker grouping that I absolutely love by this artist. Their name, I believe, is Girl in Galaxies. I will obviously put the name on the screen. But they do this adorable theme of taking plants and putting them on sexy ladies' bodies, which is awesome. Like, who doesn't love that? I especially love this lady and her and her I, I, yes I just love them all and I want to collect them all and I might have event at this point but we'll see if I ever find another one at my local plant shop because that's where I found these I found them at my local plant shop and I just had to get them right away especially this one because this is like a string of pearls look at that and that is my favorite plant I love string of pearls. Anything with a string of anything is good in my book. So this is a sticker by Visual Mind. As I had said before, I was a Patreon of theirs a while ago. I, I don't think they're doing Patreon anymore, which is sad because I absolutely loved supporting them. They, if you don't know who Visual Mind is either, you gotta go check them out too because they create awesome sketchbook ideas, beautiful illustrations. They're just wonderful. And Melanie is such a nice person. So definitely go check them out. This is my last sticker from them um, that I just haven't put on anything yet, but it will find a home eventually. 
We are starting to reach the end of this video and I have two more artists left. This last, second to last artist is Umi in Color. If you don't know who Umi is, she creates beautiful watercolor and colored pencil or she, I think she does gouache too. Um, but she comes up with these beautiful um, flower designs and she usually has some butterflies too in there and ugh, these are just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and you definitely should really check her out because she's on youtube these are two of her patreon stickers that she recently sent me i absolutely love them and last but not least these are two stickers that i found when i was at a local art festival um, this artist is Casey Lewis. I appreciate Casey putting her name down here because I really don't remember her, what her name was before. So I really do appreciate that. Um, she has some watercolor pen, I believe, um, drawings, and she usually does birds and also a, a whole bunch of other animals. She's an incredible artist, and I definitely think you should check her out. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you took away from this video just enjoying other people's art and enjoying what other people have to offer. I think the moral of this video was to just give a shout out to all these other amazing artists and supporting them. I know as an artist and just in general, if someone bought my art, I would be so happy and so pleased and I would want them to show off my art too. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. And I wanted to just give them a little shout out and show that their art is cherished in my book. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and a like and thank you so much to all of you for staying here until the end. I really appreciate it. And to all of the people that recently subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it, especially being a small little little corner in YouTube. Um, it means the world to me. And every day I get so excited seeing someone else viewing or commenting or liking or even subscribing to my channel. It just... It really means the world to me, so thank you. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!